Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, we're gonna be walking through a quick Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, showing you how to open a project file that's saved in a newer version of Adobe Premiere Pro when you get this error on your screen, saying that it can't be opened in this version. So all the steps, this will be in the video description below. Please go ahead, check it out. That will help you out, but we're gonna walk through them all in this video as well. The first thing you have to do is download a free software called 7-Zip. I have no connection to 7-Zip at all, but I actually found it from watching another tutorial here on YouTube showing this exact same thing. So download 7-Zip, it's free, it won't cost you anything, and then come back here and we'll be all ready to go to get you access to those files. So once you have this error, go ahead and hit OK. We can exit out of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now we can go find that file that we had problems with and go ahead, right click on it. We're gonna open 7-Zip and we're gonna extract it right here. So there it is. Let's go ahead at this step, let's rename it. Let's just name it Edit. So now we need to actually edit this file to change the version. That sounds really scary, but it's super simple. So go ahead, double click on it to open it up. We're gonna open up with Notepad right here, hit OK, and then search for this line right there, version 37. We need to change that 37 to a one. Go ahead, save it, and voila, we're all good to go. Now we need to add it back to get it to a Premiere Pro file again. So we go into 7-Zip. We go down here to Add Archive. There's the file. You don't have to change anything on here. Just PR, P-R-O-J is the file extension that we need. Go ahead, hit OK. And voila, there it is, all ready to go now as a Premiere Pro file again. And let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what happens. There we go, guys, it's converting the project for us. We can just hit OK. And there we go, we gotta export all the media, obviously, but it's all working now. So let's go ahead and just show you that everything's working. We can locate some of that if we want, but let's just offline it all so you can see we can get in to the file right here. There's the whole project. And now again, we can just link up the media and we're all good to go. It's that simple. The full instructions are below, but we did everything in the video too. So hopefully between the two, you can get your problem solved as well. Hit that like button for me, subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and don't want you guys to miss anything. Thank you for being here again. Give us a follow on social media as well. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can message us on WeChat. Check out our website and join our free newsletter. I just released another Premiere Pro tutorial as well, so be sure to check that one out if you need help with saving and exporting transparent videos. Thank you guys again, and I can't wait to see you in our next video.